Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. So we're back with a Double Up Tech Tuesday, talking again about the CR6 Max Creality uh, 3D printer. So this is going to be a quick, short segment, and we're going to talk about the filament feed sensor. And we're going to show you what that sensor looks like and what uh, why it's beneficial. So you'll see here on this picture here, this is the area... Back in here where that sensor is, this is actually the filament feed area and then the stepper motors right underneath that. So this is your sensor. The good thing is with the CR6 Max, these already come equipped. Some of the printers, 3D printers out there don't have this sensor in them. What this does is when your filament feeds through, let's say you're printing a 24 or 36 hour print, you didn't know you hadn't. it was gonna use that much filament. It will literally, as soon as that filament goes through, it will stop. It will not ruin um, your print or your your uh, mold. What it does is it stops and it will allow you to reset your new filament um, and put that in there. So even if you came back five hours later, 12 hours later, you just pull, heat up your filament again, pull it back out, which in other videos, we're gonna show you how to make sure you properly heat up the filament to remove it and put in new. Um, we've had some questions about that too as well, but um, in, in this video, you basically will take the um, remaining filament out that's you know where it stopped and then put in your new filament and then it's basically you'll, the printer will pause and then you hit restart. So it will, Go back to where it was you might have a little bit of a you know we've noticed sometimes you may have a little bit of an area you might have to clean up on your 3d mold um, where some of that new filament came through or it didn't feed out you know exactly a hundred percent properly but it, it's actually on the cr6 it's pretty good um, some of the other older 3d printers or some of the lower end ones you might have to clean them up a little bit and you have to do a little more work too but this will correct you know that issue and that's that's basically what what this does and it's good to have one of these on your uh, 3d printer so if you don't have one I would recommend getting one and um, they do sell these and they're fairly fairly inexpensive so we hope this video helps you in regards to your filament feed and we'll be putting out uh, other videos uh, up and coming so be looking out for those and we'll see you on the next one